Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Rangarao Karanam. In this video, we will be talking about something called deployment. What is deployment and why is it needed? A lot of developers who are coming new into the industry go into a project and hear this word called deployment. What is it all about? Whenever we talk about real world applications, you are not just going to use them in your development environment. You would want to take them and test them. How do you test them? You put them into the QA environment. You would want your users to test them as well. What do you do? User acceptance test. Where do you do user experiences? Typically in your staging environments. And you would want the real users to use the application in production. Where does that happen? In your production environment. The code which you write in your development environment, you need to put it in QA, stage and production. This process is called deployment. Deployment is basically taking the code from your version control system and putting it in your QA, putting it into your stage and production. Typically, we don't really take the code as is and put it in QA or stage or production. What do we do? We build a component, deployable component, typically a var, a EAR or a jar. You'd want to take, you'd want to build that. Other than that, deployment also involves a lot of other things. You might want to configure which web services you'd want to talk to. The web services that you would use in your development might be different from the web services that you would be using in your QA or staging. That's called configuration. So you need to configure your application to connect to the right external things. So one is your deployable artifact, which is your JAR or ER. The JAR or the ER will not change between QA stage and production. But the configuration of your application, this web service that you would be talking in QA would be different from the web service you would be talking in stage and production. So that's the second thing, configuration of the application. The third thing which would also be important is which database your thing is connecting to, which database your environment is connecting to. You need to make sure that that database is updated with all the new tables, with the new schema, which any master data kind of stuff that you would want to take care of. So as you can see, deployment is not really a simple process. Deployment involves A, deploying your artifact, making sure that your application is configured right, making sure that you have the database upgraded and things like that. And that's the reason why in most enterprises, the process of deployment is automated and in some of the organizations it's also part of the continuous integration or the continuous deployment build so you keep as soon as you commit a change the new change would be deployed in the QA environment this is what is called continuous deployment so you don't really need to worry about how to take the code and how to build an artifact how to configure something, how to put it to the database. All that you need to do is commit the right files into the version control and the continuous deployment build would take care of deploying it to the specific environment. In this video, we talked about what deployment is. Deployment is all about taking your code and putting it in a QA environment, a stage environment or a production environment. We talked about the fact that deployment is a complex process because it not only in involves deploying an artifact, but it also involves configuring how to connect to external things that you would want to talk to, how to update the database. So in order to make the deployment more stable, it's better that you automate it. And that's where continuous deployment comes into picture. In 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python and JavaScript.
You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.